Hey, hi all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, a few weeks ago, I had uploaded one video on this pick, pack, and plus process, but due to some reasons, I had to delete that video. So, here I'm going to again recreate the video with some yeah better explanation. So, let's start. Uh, for the pick, pack, and post process, what happens is that let's say you have a storage area in a warehouse, and that storage area storage type is subdivided depending upon the aisle structure or depending upon the work environment of the warehouse. It can be subdivided into a yeah, storage section, or you can say the activity area. And thing is that we can have a separate set of people working for each yeah activity area. There could be yeah same set of people working for the each activity area so it all depends upon the i will say business process yeah it all depends upon the business process so here what happens is let's say in this uh, snapshot for example i have a higher level activity area pphl and in this activity area i have three yeah subdivision activity area ppo1 and ppo2 and ppo3 so here what happens is that first I will do picking from let's say PPO1 and once picking and packing is done from PPO1 I will move the goods to the PPO2 and once picking and packing is done from PPO2 I will move goods to PPO3 so this is how it works and the sequence that first I have to pick from PPO1 or PPO2 or PPO3 this sequence you simply set in the customizing so that's a total customizing setup that we have to do you can simply set it with sequence i want to do the picking so from theoretical point of view what happens is that i will start picking from ppo1 first and then move it to the ppo2 and then once after ppo2 is finished i will move to ppo3 so here you can see first person he is responsible for picking from PPO2, second person PPO2, and third person PPO3. I have some this start end, start end, and start end. So after picking from the PPO1, yeah, this person will move the goods to the start end of the second activity area. And same for the second person after picking, packing the goods, he will move the goods to the PPO3. PPO3. This movement of the goods, a movement of the handling unit or pallet it can be done manually it can be done with the conveyor belt system you can see here so this is how on the theoretical point of view it works so let's have a look into the system also yeah so um, let's say here i already created one delivery note it has five different yeah, items and those items are supposed to be from separate activity area let's say here ppp hyphen O O nine A B C D N A. There are five different items, and these are going to be picked from five different activity area, and those activity area are combined into a higher level activity area. So this is the base concept for the pick, pack, and process. We will have a higher level activity area. Yeah, that's going to represent logically your big storage type, and under which we will have separate activity area depending upon your storage section or depending upon the aisle structure or something like that you can set it up so here let's say i set it up like this set this product the first product is going to be picked from activity area 009a second from b c d and e and so on yeah so based on the activity area i have separate uh, so here we do the assumption that okay we have a different set of people working for each activity area so there is a warehouse already created for each activity area and now you can see the higher level activity area yeah so so higher level activity area will be same for all the warehouse orders because yeah this is higher level activity area is meant for the your higher level activity higher level warehouse order sorry is meant for your higher level activity area and then in this column you can see subsequent warehouse order so once the picking and packing is done for 115 it should start for 116 after 116 picking packing should start for 117 and so on for the last one you see nothing yeah because this is the final one so there is no subsequent warehouse order for this now let's have a look at the the warehouse class created so you can see here yeah everything is going to be picked from their respective activity area storage bin and then it should be going to the 9020 staging area but once we start the picking for example once i 
do the picking for this 133 task number you will come to see you will see that the the destination this details storage type section have been this these will be changed in the RF because this process is connected with the pick pack pass so we will see how it goes on so let me log into the the RF for the first picker so I will log in in RF for the first picker let's see something is here let me do like that picker and I can go with the system guided and I'll done with the queue so let's put me the queue now you can see the the warehouse are the one one five so this is the first one that should be picked now before anything else can be proceeded I have to pick this one one five first so you see this one one five is coming here so let's create a pick handling unit and now I go to the next so I am doing the picking for the first I will say warehouse order so normal SAP standard validation I have to do so let me do this one then here now you can see here let's say the first one what I was trying to explain is that okay for the first warehouse task you can see now the destination was supposed to be 9020 yeah but it will not be 9020 you can see here destination is going to be start end of the first activity area something that you set up in the transaction save I will say so let's check it here something that you set up here based on the warehouse number activity area and activity we set up that okay my starting point will be this end point will be this and so on so that's the reason it's coming here it's not going to 9020 or staging bin so it's coming here let me validate it and once this is done now we have to also see one of the thing here let's say this is now confirmed yeah initially what was the situation here is that only this this first was in the open status the rest everything was in the B status I had only five lines here now you can see this six number of lines with 3050 this 3050 is responsible for moving the HU to the resource and this default WPT we have to set at the warehouse level so this line is coming here and as you see this is confirmed so next will be in the open status now initially it was open rest all rest all four warehouse order will be in the waiting status now this is open and rest three will be in the uh, waiting status or locking status so this is how it works at one time only one warehouse order will be open or the um, you can say it can be one it can be two but only the warehouse order from the first activity area will be open rest everything will be in the waiting status so the first one is confirmed now I will try to confirm the second one so I go to the RF and I log into the second picker now so now for the second picker normally what happens is the physically the first picker will pick back the goods and they will pass the handling unit the physical HU to the second activity area so we already have a barcode of the HU yeah so I don't have to go with the queue selection I can go with the HU and I can scan my HU barcode that I already see physically yeah so let's do like that come on and now you can see the system will automatically fetch your open this warehouse order 116 so this is the next one or this is the next in the order that should be picked so 116 I will pick here now I don't have to create a pick handling unit yeah because I already have it physically also and systematically also so again now I have to do same thing for let's say second third and fourth 
yeah there is nothing special only for the fifth one we will see that once you confirm the fifth one what will happen system will change the destination accordingly and here for everything the destination is not going to be 9020 a staging area but it will be taken from your setup for the this saber transaction yeah here what will be the start what will be the end and the moment you do in the rf system actually yeah knows that this is going to be your pick back and post process so depending upon that it will read this customizing data uh, this this master data and set the destination accordingly so let's have like that good i can close this one because i have to log into the next resource i will say so now you can see the first two are confirmed third one is open the fourth and fifth will be still in the locking status because they are waiting for this 117 for the completion so let's confirm this 117 again we will follow the same way that we go by handling unit and now it's uh, activity area 9c picker so you i scan my h2 number and then this 117 i'm going to confirm it so let's say this one we do as usual sorry do the validation of all this yeah as a standard i will say validation if needed you can change it so again you see the destination is going to be determined based on my setting for the pick pack and post process it's not taking from the i will say staging area of the delivery because you know so this is now confirmed we can again refresh this monitor and see the status here so this is confirmed and next one is the open so 118 for example and it's connected with the q uh 009d yeah so i go to the rf and this picker from the 009d will log in as i told you before yeah depending upon the business requirement it can be it can be same set of people so it can be same resource also yeah who is going to pick from all the five files or it can be different set of people or different resources so that's the reason we are doing so now we have said that okay there are some separate set of people separate resources working for each aisle so that's the reason i set up the queue separately for each aisle i will say let's confirm this one this please and come on and then the 9 day start bin i have to confirm and after that only one warehouse order will be pending for me yeah because that will be the last warehouse order in the sequence that needs to be confirmed come on just refresh this and see so only this one is going to be now open so you can also see some yeah this warehouse order here created with the 3050 as i told this is for the moving of hq to the resource and this is important this setting you do at the warehouse level if this is not done then you cannot confirm such type of warehouse order you will face some error messages so now let's confirm the last i will say the warehouse order from the last activity area 009e So I go here and now manual selection I can scan the HU and give the HU number and same thing as so here what actually we have to see carefully is that now the destination will be my staging area yeah staging area of the outbound delivery order because this is the last activity area this is the last activity area last warehouse order for which I'm doing the picking after that I don't have any subsequent activity area for the picking so it will be like this let's have a look what's going on come on so now you see 
Oh, you see here, this is the eye zone because this is the last one, yeah. So I don't. It will not go to the next activity area because there is nothing in the sequence. Nothing in the sequence or nothing in the queue. Next queue. So now you can see, and if I refresh it, everything is okay. So everything is picked, yeah. So picking is done from the warehouse. I have not done anything special for this, so I can just post the goods issue and see my outbound delivery in the let's say S4 Core, uh, my ECG system, whatever it is. Go to document flow and goods usage posters so now everything is done for this delivery at least so this is how the pick pack and post process first and there is nice blog already available so that's the reason i'm not showing you the customizing what we have to do but yeah if you go through this blog for example there is a blog already written by wamsi so here you can go and find out all the yeah, necessary customizing unnecessary master data setup that you have to do so i can also paste this in the, uh, the video link so that you can yeah you will be able to find it quickly so this is how uh, in short this pick pack bus process so i will say thank you for watching this and have a nice day bye bye